Stone Upon Stone, Episode 14, Restful Break Number 2. It's resting time. I'm taking another quick break from topics of importance to discuss a little bit about this video series, the world where I play, and the plans I have for structures in it. One of the things that has surprised me the most about this world seed is how closely the cave system has stuck to the area on the surface where it started. I expected to be far from my starting point and have a shaft going down to where it got to a fun level to mine, but when I looked at my position at the end of each play session, I have consistently found it to be nearly always within sight of the entrance. This fits remarkably well with my long-term idea to have a rail line leading down to the mining areas. That may not be realistic given how much, how very much iron it would take to descend a thousand levels at three track pieces per download grade, but it's a nice idea that however far I choose to go down in that manner, I won't be far from the cave when I build a station. Now that I've reached the level of diamonds, I can start building my rail network. I expect that I'll be spending less time in the mines now, and I may even skip recording those. I haven't decided yet, so leave me a comment about whether you want to watch the mining efforts. I'll start with two stations, one near the spawn point as our welcome center, and another somewhere else, in a good spot for building an interesting house or castle. Let's wander a little bit and see what would be good to go where. We need a smelting place for metals, a glassworks, a kiln, and a crafting factory. We also need a base, some attractions, a farm, and a sanctuary. The first attraction will be the cave system we've been exploring. I'll make the entrance a little prettier and a little safer and cleaner. I've been looking at my channel statistics and I've found that while I don't get a lot of viewership on these videos, there's a consistent trend in views. The reflection audio version is being viewed much less frequently than the gameplay footage. So one of the easiest things I can do to reduce the amount of time these videos take to make is to make only the gameplay version. The second thing I can do, I'm already doing. I've attached a second monitor to this computer, so I can display my script on one screen while I have the game on the other. No more recording the audio separately. I see also that it looks like a couple of people are coming back to watch multiple videos. Thank you for joining me. Leave me a comment to let me know how you like it so far.
one of the things I like to do on my rail lines is put gravel underneath the tracks. It's not necessary, but I think it adds some charm. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring the rail line down and we're going to bring another rail line up from the lower platforms so that they'll meet up here and this will kind of become our ground level. We will bring things together and have our switching mechanisms to get the trains to the platforms as they come from different areas of the map. Sorry about the darkness. It takes me sometimes a little while to remember that this shows up darker on the video than it does on my screen when I'm playing it.
for a minute there, I forgot how to run the train. It's been a little while. And I forgot to clear the whole track. I hate when that happens. I'm actually always doing this. I put down cars or I let the cars travel into uh, the uh, walls and then I have to clear the way the walls for, to free the cars. It took me a while to realize this, but I've placed the passenger car against a wall, and it won't let me move until I clear those blocks away. Always clear your track space before laying rails. It'll save you a lot of headaches down the road. So let's do that, and then we'll leave this station for a little while and roam the countryside to find out where the other end of this line will be. a bee. I have a bee. Huh.
All right, so let's uh, take a look around here. We've got uh, some beach here. Our start's over there. We looked a little into this forest. Let's go along the shore. Looks like we've got a little bit of a floating island over there. Savannah up ahead. separated from us by a river. A little bit of a floating island here too. Bigger. You could actually put something on that one. Oh. What do we have here? bit of a dungeon here. This might make a good starting point for a base. This would probably be a great place to have our second station. Water views, little base here. Trees in the distance. This could be a good spot. 325 by 25. Uh, 325 by 435.
keep us from falling into a hole. That's up pretty high. I think I might build myself a little bridge across here rather than going down and then back up. That could be fun and pretty. I'm going to put a bridge across, across this uh, section. Probably want to start our bridge even with here. 230. Minus 230. stung by the bee. So, I think I'll go along here. We'll come down to 10 and follow the contour of the land. Come straight across here. So we'll go from here.
and that'll be the start of our bridge. So this looks like a good place to stop. Uh, last time I talked about how terms and conditions without reasonable regulation inhibit our search for peace. Next time I'm going to talk about lies others tell us. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you've enjoyed this. Are you enjoying these videos? Would you like to see more works I produce? I am receiving support from my Patreon campaign, and you can join in the fun and help pay for more content like this. My patrons have access to all the videos in this series, to early access to some content, and to behind-the-scenes posts relating to my serial novel projects. Right now is a great time to visit my page and pledge your support for my art and social commentary. All of my work is produced without artificial creativity. I write my own stories and scripts and make all reasonable efforts to avoid AI tools. For as little as $12 a year, you can support the creation of more high-quality stories and videos. Special thanks goes out to Chris Howard for supporting my works.